Hi everyone and thank you for clicking on today's video. Today I will teach you how to create a digital drawing of the new Batmobile in Adobe Illustrator. Begin by creating a template layer for the reference image. Create different layers for better organization and make sure to name them. For the outline, we will use a black stroke with rounded caps and corners. Begin by creating the outline of the wheels. With the ellipse tool, create a perfect circle by holding shift and option on your keyboard. Do a copy and paste in front to create multiple circles and resize them as followed. For the center of the wheel, create a black circle and then draw a horizontal line. Align the stroke and then with the Pathfinder panel, unite the shapes together into one. Once again, create a black circle and this time we will duplicate it 360 degrees. Activate the Rotate tool and Option click in the middle, set it to a 40 degree angle and then finalize by clicking on Copy. Duplicate it around by using the shortcut Command-D on your keyboard multiple times. By the way, this video is sponsored by Astropad. What is Astropad, you ask? Well, this is the ultimate app for artists. What this app does is turn your Apple iPad into a drawing tablet by mirroring exactly what you see on your favorite Mac or PC display. Which means you get the flexibility of using an Apple Pencil combined with the power of a full desktop computer. This app is engineered for the most demanding creative work or even just some simple illustrations like we do here on my channel. I just started using it and I believe it's going to change my workflow completely when illustrating. If you're ready to take your creative workflow to the next level, you can start your AstroPad 30 day free trial today. Plus, you can save 10% on your first year using my link in the description and entering the promo code DOMDESIGNS at checkout. So be sure to check that out. Moving on to create the outline of the body. Copy and paste in front the wheel and resize it as followed to create the wheel well. Activate the pen tool, click on the strokes to add new anchor points. Activate the direct selection tool and delete the following anchor points. and repeat for the back wheel. With the pen tool activated, proceed to trace the exterior of the car. To clean up the overlapping lines like I did in this scenario, select all and activate the shape builder tool. With the option or alt key pressed on your keyboard, click on the red lines to delete them.
For finer details, I will activate the width tool. With this tool, you can click and drag on the strokes to vary the thicknesses. Create two new layers and name them Wheel Outline and Wheel Color. We will separate the wheels from the body outline so that it's easier to add color. To move the wheels over to a new layer, go down to the Layer panel and select the blue square and drag it above to the Wheel Outline layer. Go back to the Car Outline and close off any open shapes as followed. Now that we have that done, let's proceed to add the base colors to the wheel. Select the wheel outline and copy that over to the wheel color layer. Go to the layers panel, click on the small gray square, while holding Option or Alt on your keyboard, drag it down to the wheel color layer to make a copy. On the wheel color layer, delete the details as followed. Now select the shapes, and replace the stroke for a dark gray fill. Click on the individual circles to add different tones of gray to color in the wheel. If you can't select some shapes, just right click and arrange them to back. For the body of the car, let's repeat the same steps. Copy the outline onto the color layer. I like making the strokes a little thinner and then I head over to the object menu and click on outline strokes. Once the strokes are outlined, let's unite the shapes together using the Pathfinder panel. and then simply right click, release compound paths, and delete the exterior shape. Select all and apply a neutral color and turn on the outline layer to see the results. Following the reference image, let's apply the base colors to the car. For the body, I will use a gradient going from light to dark. For an in-depth tutorial on the gradient tool, Check out the video in the eye above. Now that we have applied the base colors, let's finish off by adding the shadows and highlights. For the shadows around the wheel, create a circle with a black stroke. Delete the anchor points on the left and then make the center of the stroke thicker using the width tool. Mm -hmm. 
Once we're content, let's outline the stroke and turn it into a shape. And simply give it a light tone for the highlight and dark tone for the shadows. Following similar steps, I will add the shadows towards the bottom of the car and highlights towards the top. I will use a combination of the Shape Builder tool and the Pen tool. For more in-depth tutorials on these, I will add links to my beginner tutorials at the top left for you to check out.
And there you have it everyone. This is how to turn an image of the Batmobile into a flat design digital art piece in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and if you did, please drop a like. It will greatly help out the video reach more people. Cheers everyone.